Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. It's been a while since I've made a video, but the current situation in the world right now, it's not too good and uh, I have a bit of free time at the moment to um, make a video for you guys. Now, we all know that uh, at this moment we're not supposed to be, you know, going outside and we have to stay inside and to take care of ourselves and that means we can't really go to the racetrack to practice or even race at our clubs. Um, so during this downtime, you know, we can easily work on our cars, you know, maintaining them and preparing for, preparing for the next time we go out. Uh, but for those, uh, who are interested, there is a racer's guide for 112 scale and F1, uh, by, uh, Dave Stevens. Uh, if you're looking to get, pick up an extra edge when it comes to, uh, set up information and knowledge, this book is something that you should consider. Now, Dave uh, was nice enough to send me this book, Ooh, I think it was in December of 2019. Um, he was nice enough to send this copy to me uh, for free so I can do a video and introduce this book to you guys. Now, I'm just going to do just a quick overview of uh, what uh, this book uh, has and uh, just kind of uh, go, go through a few pages for you just to give you a feel of what this book is like. Now, uh, before I go into it, uh, this book also, um, you have a physical copy, but there's also a digital copy. So you can uh, download the ebook if you choose to do so. Now, as you can see here, uh, this book is beefy. It is beefy. There are, I think, 140 or 150 pages of uh, detailed information on uh, setup and uh, maintenance tips. So if you're looking for, I would consider the ultimate racer's guide for 112 scale and F1, this is it. Now, there are um, setup books out there that uh, are very thin, don't provide detailed information as what you would get from this book here. Um, the great thing is this book has uh, very easy to understand terminology, um, colored images to help you further understand what is being discussed and um, all the information that is inside this book has been looked over by uh, the likes of Dave Spachette and Jan Matheisky so the information you are getting is going to be the correct information now you can go out onto the internet and you can you know type in um, you know uh, Ackerman or ride height for your 112 scale or F1 and you know sometimes the information is a hit or miss and uh, the information not might not be um, detailed enough for you to really fully understand um, what is being discussed but Dave has created this book to help uh, for help to help beginners and for seasoned racers to kind of brush up on any setup theory that um, they have um, struggles with uh, understanding so Let's take a look at the book. And one thing you'll notice is the colored images. You know, a lot of the books that uh, provide setup theory are very basic, black on black text on uh, white paper, no images. Um, usually um, it can be a bit of a snore when you go through these setup books, but Dave has um, uh, prepared it in such a way where you can go through the book, you can look at different images, kind of compare your, you know, electronic layout or, you know, you can even compare the, um, um, the electronics that are being used by the top competitors with yours, you know, and just kind of see what what your car looks in comparison to theirs. So it's kind of nice to see lots of colorful images in here of different race cars and body shells and such. So well done. Um, so uh, the table of contents. So here we go. Uh, you have chapter one, introduction. So you'll just basic uh, introduction of the cars and um, also uh, talking about Jan Rathaisky and Dave Spachette. Um, chapter two, process of driving faster. Now, this is something that a lot of guys don't really uh, learn at the very beginning. Uh, usually you just go out on the track and just kind of figure out how to get the car around the track. But here, uh, you it, it discusses, you know, the breaking point, uh, turn in point, apex. Like, let's go to page 24 just for a quick look here. So page 24. So, you know, the apex, it talks about like um, uh, late apex, late apex, uh, early apex. And uh, it talks about how you should enter and what happens um, 
during that uh, point of when you turn in and accelerate out. Um, and it also goes into uh, the advantages and disadvantages of uh, depending on what uh, line you take. So there's a lot of detailed information here. I won't go into it too much. Um, yeah, here's uh, just like a little uh, page here for Dave Spachette and Jan Rathaisky and what um, what they've accomplished over the years, racing one 12 scale in F1. Let's just go back to um, table of contents. So yeah, as you can see here, uh, process of driving faster. I think most of you guys will probably be hitting up uh, the car setup reference. As you can see here, there is a ton of information here. Um, that goes into detail about uh, how to set up your car, um, even like uh, technical uh, information that is easy to understand, um, which, you know, some guys out on the web forums will, you know, talk about uh, a certain um, setup uh, reference. And sometimes their technical jargon will confuse a lot of people. But uh, this book here, uh, which Dave has done is, you know, simplified, easy to understand and uh, you'll be able to uh, figure out how to set up your car when you're at your track, at your racetrack. Um, chapter four, tweak. Uh, chapter five, case studies. I think this is a great section to have, and he provides some uh, case studies for different surfaces, so carpet and asphalt. Um, we'll take a look at that a little bit later on for you guys. Um, then it continues on, um, you have appendix uh, B, which states that there's an ebook. So if you guys want to have uh, a digital copy, you can go ahead, or you can get this nice, colorful, um, uh, soft cover book as well. Um, Appendix C, you have checklists, which uh, are great to have uh, that can really help uh, hone and figure out what exactly is going on with your car's setup. So, for example, steering, it says uh, um, general oversteer, oversteer at corner entry. Um, uh, general oversteer just means like what does it what does oversteer mean and general understeer what does that mean and it goes into detail of like at what point in the corner does the oversteer or understeer occur and that's very important to understand and you know when you're out on the track it will also give you a, a better understanding of how your car is performing you start to learn okay the car is going around the corner at what point is the car you know understeering or oversteering and if you start learning and understanding on how the car is performing and doing that, uh, you'll become a better racer and figure out how to tune your car to uh, perform well through the corner. Anyway, let's take a look here. Uh, introduction. Uh, once again, nice, beautifully colored images. Um, you have chapter two, the process of driving faster. Um, lots of wonderful images does it keeps the book it makes the book interesting you know as i mentioned before there's a lot of books out there that are just black text on white paper and it can be quite uh quite mind-numbing for some um battery position bodies bump steer it goes into great detail um rebound you know a lot of guys don't even know you know what exactly is rebound how do i set it up um, they even provide little uh, information pieces here. You know, rebound can be used to fine tune the feel of the car. Some pro drivers prefer less rebound or even zero rebound. You know, it's, you know, he's providing all these little tips and information that um, you wouldn't get necessarily from a web form. Uh, so lots of detailed um, information talking about differentials, gear diff, droop. Um, let's just take a look here. Um, you know, setting, increase droop, shock length, what do you have to do? Increase it. What does it do? Handling impact, which says car turns in harder, more high speed steering. And then it shows the opposite, decrease droop. What do you have to do? Decrease the shock length. And it gives you all this great information, which will help you easily understand what to do when setting up your car. Um, I think this one is for F1. So roll bars, roll centers. Now, Roll centers is always, it's always been a tricky thing for people to understand, but Dave has done it in such a way that it's easy for you guys to digest and then be able to put it into action. Um, toe in, um, you have, uh, for example, an example with uh, the Tamiya TRF-103. Um, there's lots of information here from different vehicles as well. Um, tweak 
how to check for tweak, even how to tighten the screws properly. I don't think a lot of guys know how to do that, you know, tightening the screws in the next pattern so that the chassis will uh, remain flat. I know for a fact that when I started out, I would uh, tighten this screw, then this screw, and then, you know, I would, uh, I just screw, I just tight them in a box format, and I would actually see a tweak in the front end of the car, and um, yeah, just like all these small little details, which are very important. Now, speaking of details, we have the sorry uh, the first case study uh, track. You have um, uh, the carpet um, it gives you the track temperature, the control tire, the additive, um, what chassis was being used, and there's even like detailed setup information in, in even goes into um you know uh, the steering epa and um just other little details that will help improve the car uh to uh drive around the the track well um what do we have here this is carpet as well all right what do i have here um so there's lots of case studies um a lot of carpet case studies uh you have uh, tire preparation. I think this is one that uh, many people um, have difficulty with is like how to prepare your tires, especially when it comes to uh, additive and such. Um, you know, for example, Jan Rathaisky's car here, I think this is uh, F1, mentions, you know, additive process, multiple applications as needed for track conditions. Last coat 30 minutes before race. Um, that's for the, the rear. Um, for the front, you know, multiple applications is needed for track conditions, full width, last code 20 minutes before race. So there's lots of information here, which when I started 112 scale racing, uh, I don't know when it was, but I think 2000, 2012, 2013, like I struggled, I struggled trying to get the information I needed. And, um, you know, I created the YouTube channel for guys who kind of needed some insight on how to set up their 112 scale, you know, like when building it and looking at different aspects of, you know, you know, making sure that the pod is moving freely, uh, making sure that the pod isn't tweaked, front suspension is working properly. Those are all things that I learned um, by myself because the information wasn't really there. But the thing is, uh, when it comes to setup information, Dave has provided this amazing book for you guys. He's obviously, he's obviously put in a lot of time and effort to make this book uh, the way it is. Um, you know, I think if you guys are looking for some, a nice uh, piece of uh, reading material um, that will be beneficial to you at the track, uh, definitely pick up uh, the Racer's Guide. And um, like I said, there is a physical copy and uh, an ebook. So definitely take a look at Dave's book. He's put a lot of effort into it, and uh, it's definitely uh, paid off. And um, yeah, save your money. Don't uh, don't go out and buy the latest and greatest uh, electronics. You know, pick up this book first, especially for those who are beginners. Get this book first, and this will be the ultimate uh, tool to have in your uh, pit space. Um, this will help you get you uh, up there with the fast guys. All right, I hope this video was of help. I know it's a little long, but it's well worth it. Thank you. Bye-bye.